what is up guys EJ here back with another video and today it's going to be my blu-ray DVD collection for 2020 and animation part 2 so last time we finished up with the K's so starting off with the L's up first we have Lady and the Tramp uh, classic uh, 1955 Disney film of course uh, 50th anniversary edition up next on uh, 3D Blu-ray we have uh, Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Kahul. Yeah, really good film. Uh, great visuals, interesting storyline. I liked it a lot when I first saw it. Up next we have my uh, Everything is Awesome edition of uh, the Lego movie from uh, 2014. Fantastic, fun movie, great songs. Uh, just a really vibrant and fun film from start to finish. I also have uh, the Lego Batman movie from uh, 2016. Uh, I wasn't a fan of the Lego Ninjago movie or I didn't really love uh, Lego Movie 2 either. So I don't think I'll be getting those. Up next we have uh, Lilo and Stitch from uh, 2002. Um, yeah, good fun film, two disc big wave edition up next we have the lion king uh, from 1994 absolute classic of course uh to this special edition yeah the live action remake uh it wasn't great but i'll probably will be getting it not my favorite of the recent live action remakes up next we have the little Mer mermaid from uh, 1989 another disney classic to this special edition Okay, up next we have The Lord of the Rings, uh, the uh, animated film from uh, Ralph Bakshi from 1978, Remastered Deluxe Edition. Not great because it crams like basically what uh, Fellowship of the Ring and The Two Towers does in like five hours into like an hour and a half. So, um, But it has its moments and they copied at least one scene in the, in the live action versions. Uh, the Peter Jackson versions. Alright, up next we have Minions uh, from uh, 2015, I want to say. Of course, spin off of uh, the Despicable Me, Me movies. Yeah, the Minions are okay. It isn't great because you can't really understand what the hell they're saying most of the time, but still uh, pretty fun. Up next we have uh, Moana, a uh, fantastic film from uh, 2016 really enjoyed it uh the voice of uh, the walk of course and that one really great songs in that one liked moana a lot up next we have uh, monster house from um 2006 i believe yeah pretty underrated from what i remember uh not too bad up next we have uh, monsters inc uh from 2001 one of the early great pixar films of course with the voices of billy crystal and john goodman and I also have the sequel on 3D Blu-ray, Monsters University from 2013. Really enjoyed this uh, sequel a lot. Surprised we haven't got a, uh, a third one, actually thinking about it right now. Up next we have Mulan uh, from uh, 1998. Uh, yeah, great Disney film, of course. Uh, special edition. Looking forward to the uh, live action version. Unfortunately, it has gotten pushed back for obvious reasons. And up next we have uh, My Neighbor Totoro from uh, 1988, another Hayao Miyazaki uh, classic from the late 80s. Alright, moving on, up next we have, uh, if I can get it out, They're all stuck together here, this isn't good, do two at a time, there we go. Uh, so we have Penguins of, uh, of Madagascar. Uh, from uh, 2013. Yeah, I wasn't really a fan of any of the Madagascar, uh, Gascar films, uh, but I like the penguins in those movies. These crafty little buggers uh, getting into all sorts of mischief. And the penguins movie was actually pretty decent from what I remember. Alright, up next we have uh, Persepolis uh, from 2007. Yeah, uh, Award, Academy Award nominee for uh, Best Animated picture that year really good film uh, great uh, inventive animation really enjoyed it a lot 
probably not a good idea to put it back in, but oh well. Uh, Peter Pan from uh, 1953. Obviously, great Disney classic from, um, uh, yeah, I already said, uh, to this Platinum Edition. Alright, up next, uh, Pinocchio from uh, 1940, another fantastic film, one of the great uh, Walt Disney classics, uh, 70th Anniversary Platinum Edition. Up next, we have uh, Planes, uh, not as good as the Cars movies for the most part, from uh, 2013, I believe, uh, on Blu-ray. Okay, up next we have Pocahontas, uh, to this set, 10th Anniversary Edition from uh, 1995, another good mid-90s uh, Disney film. Next we have The Prince of Egypt uh, from 1998, yeah, good uh, DreamWorks animated film about Moses and of course the classic Exodus story, like that film quite a bit. Up next we have uh, Princess uh, Mononoke from uh, 1999, definitely one of my favorite uh, anime films, uh, fantastic movie, another classic from uh, Hayao Miyazaki. Up next we have Rango, uh, starring Johnny Depp of course, from uh, 2011 on Blu-ray, yeah good fun movie, interesting animation in that one. Up next, we have Ratatouille from uh, 2007, one of uh, Pixar's best, of course. Yeah, fantastic film. Love the ending to that one. Up next, we have Robin Hood, m like my eighth or ninth different version of Robin Hood. Uh, the Most Wanted edition from uh, 1973. Absolutely loved this as a kid. Part of the reason why I love Robin Hood as a story overall is me growing up with that version. Up next we have Robots uh, from uh, 2005, yeah good fun cast, uh, Ewan McGregor, uh, Robin Williams uh, of note from what I remember. Alright up next we have uh, Sausage Party from uh, 2016 on Blu-ray, really fun and racy, uh, good fun movie, Seth Rogen um, and a whole host of uh, his uh, cohorts, Kristen Wiig, Jonah Hill. Bill Hader, Michael Cena, so on and so forth. Alright, up next we have uh, The Secret of uh, Nemo from uh, 1982. Yeah, family fun edition. I remember this one fondly uh, from when I was a kid, that's for sure. Okay, up next we have the Shrek films. Uh, Shrek, the first one from uh, 2001. Um, probably uh, DreamWorks uh, highlight when it comes to animation. Um, uh, Mike Myers and Eddie Murphy, of course. Cameron Diaz, uh, fantastic. Shrek 2, uh, very, uh, I would say, uh, pop culture references galore in this one from uh, 2004. I remember working at the movie theaters when this came out, and this was huge when it initially came out. Okay, and the third one, Shrek the Third from uh, 2007. Again, the sequels get progressively worse in the Shrek franchise. And last but not least, Shrek the uh, Forever, Ap Forever After, the final chapter from uh, 2010 on Blu-ray right there. All right, up next, we have another uh, DreamWorks uh, film. Uh, underrated movie, uh, Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas from 2003. Uh, Brad Pitt and uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yeah, really good fun animation. Good story. I like like that one a lot. Up next we have Sleeping Beauty from 1959. 50th Anniversary Platinum Edition. You notice I have a, a lot of these <laughs> Disney uh, films on the Platinum Edition types uh, for these classic Disney films. Surprised we haven't got a... Uh, well, I guess we sort of have a live action version. Uh, moving on, up next we have Smallfoot from uh, 2018, yeah, I, when I got this in my recent update a uh, month or so ago, yeah, I really enjoyed this film about uh, the uh, abominable snowman or the yeti and s seeing the world from their, their point of view was interesting. Yeah, it's a good fun movie. And last in this li little section we have South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. 
from uh, 1999. Big South Park fan when it initially started, so of course had to get the uh, movie. I have all like the first 17 or 18 seasons on DVD as well. Alright uh, guys, moving on. Up next we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Of course the original animated classic from 1937. Again the uh, Platinum Edition, one of my all time favorite animated movies. Up next we have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, of course the uh, Oscar winner for Best Animated Film from uh, uh, 2018. Yeah, really great film. Story of uh, Miles Morales, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I believe they're making a sequel to this, I'm not sure. Um, Anyway, up next we have Spirited Away, another Oscar winner for Best Animated Film. This one from uh, 2002, uh, again, another Hayao Miyazaki classic. Yeah, weird and wonderful, um, terrific film, Spirited Away. Up next we have The Sword in the Stone from uh, 1963, uh, 45th Anniversary Edition. Love that film. Watched that from my uh, from my initial 24-hour movie marathon that I did in 2013. Up next, we have Tarzan uh, Special Edition from uh, 1999. Uh, pretty decent from what I remember. Up next, we have Team America uh, World Police from uh, 2004. Absolutely hilarious puppet movie. Uh, irreverent. Uh, Matt Damon. <laughs> Yeah, I, I remember when this came out, like, when I was working in concessions at the movie theaters, we'd just be endlessly quoting this movie uh, back in 2004. All right. Up next, we have uh, Titan AE uh, Special Edition. Yeah, really good underrated uh, sci-fi animated film from 2000, I believe. Uh, I like this film a lot. AE, of course, stands for After Earth. Alright, up next we have the Toy Story films. Uh, the first one from uh, 1995, of course. One of the uh, early Pixar classics. 10th anniversary edition. Tom Hanks and um, uh, Tim Allen, of course. Toy Story 2 from 1999 to this special edition. Absolutely wonderful film. And Toy Story 3, my first ever Blu-ray from what I remember when I got my first Blu-ray player and my first uh, first Blu-ray from uh, 2010. Yeah, Toy Story 3 was the first Blu-ray I ever bought. Uh, and Toy Story 4 I will be getting from uh, 2019, uh, even though I didn't think it was that good. It was fine. The whole Sporky uh, uh, storyline just didn't, didn't really jive with me. Alright, up next we have uh, Transformers, the movie from uh, 1986, 20th Anniversary Special Edition. Yeah, I loved the Transformers growing up as a kid. I should really look into getting the uh, original TV show on, on DVD as well. Uh, up next we have uh, Treasure Planet, another uh, sort of underrated sci-fi uh, animated film um, Yeah, from 2002. Pretty decent from what I remember. Up next we have Up, uh, one of Pixar's best of course from uh, 2009, just beautiful heartbreaking ending and, uh, and beginning. Um, yeah, Up is one of Pixar's best, as is uh, the next one which is Wally uh, from 2008, definitely one of my favorite Pixar films. Really nice uh, three disc uh, special edition here. Alright, up next. Um, yeah, much like Persepolis, this film, Waltz with Bashir, came out a year later in 2008. Again, interesting um, animation, sort of a, a political um, film based on true events, true life. Uh, really good, that one as well. Up next we have uh, The Secret World of Arietti from, um, I want to say 2011 or 2012. Uh, yeah, fantastic uh, Studio Ghibli film as well. As you can see, I am a fan of these uh, anime films as well. Alright, up next we have uh, Watership Down from um, 1978, filmed by uh, Martin Rosen. Yeah, I remember this fondly as a kid as well. I believe this is on Criterion Collection. I'm not sure if I have it. I'm trying to remember if I do. I think I do. 
this is what happens when you have this many DVDs. You forget like what you have sometimes. All right, up next we have uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit from uh, 1988. One of the few uh, DVDs that look kind of different from all my other special editions and Blu-rays and such. But yeah, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, absolute classic. All right. Up next we have uh, Wreck-It Ralph from uh, 2012. Um, from um, yeah, from uh, Pixar, absolutely wonderful film. Ultimate Collector's Edition 3D Blu-ray, John C. Riley and Sarah Sil Silverman. Also had the sequel, uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Oh, sorry, just trying to get a little bit more comfortable here. Uh, from uh, 2018, yeah, I like this sequel a lot. Not as much as the first one, but still very good. And last but not least, in the animated section, we have Zootopia. Another wonderful Disney film from uh, 2016. Absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, really sort of a film that was split in two halves. Um, yeah, really fun, Zootopia. So that is my uh, animation section. Uh, up next will be my Christmas uh, collection, which is which will be one video. Uh, thank you for watching as always, and until next time, I'll see you. Bon. James Bond.